What'd you get for number 23? I'm not there yet. Heather, Raina, can you stop talking until everyone's finished? I need to step out for a minute. Finish your worksheets and I'll be right back. What'd you get for number 23? Heather. What the? What is this? Wait a second. Is this Chase? That's private. Let me see. Oh my gosh. It's totally him. He even has the same jacket. Give it back. Oh hey, Chase. Looks like you got yourself a little sucker. Wait, is this me as an anime character? Yeah, Mia's totally in love with you. No, I'm not. I, I was just practicing drawing characters for my series. You're what now? It's for an anime contest. First place gets a $1,000 prize. Are you serious? Ugh, just when I thought you couldn't get any weirder. Anime isn't weird. Even a bunch of celebs are into it. Ariana Grande, Kanye West, Sniper Wolf. And what? You think they're ever gonna care about your dumb little drawings? Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully everyone had a chance to finish. Pass them up to the front, please. Oh, and a quick reminder that Friday is career day, so you will want to dress up as whatever you wanna be. Lawyers, doctors, astronauts, whatever your dream job is, and then you'll give a brief presentation to the rest of the class. I bet Mia's dressing up as Pikachu. <laughs> I'm sorry, is something funny back there? Yeah, excuse me, Miss Cran. What if you don't plan on working? Well, you have to choose something. Anything. You could be a philanthropist or a stay-at-home mom. Like I would ever do that to myself. Never mind. Figure something out. <sighs> Ugh, is Mia legit still drawing her anime? I've got an idea. Get your phone out. Why, what are you gonna do? I'm stopping the freak from drawing her anime for good. <laughs> Record me, but start it in like one minute. Hey, loser, thanks for the sandwich. Hey, that's my lunch. Ugh, you can keep it. How old is that meat? I don't know, my mom got it from Walmart. Oh. Ew, you get your groceries at Walmart? Gross. What are you wasting your time on now? If you don't have anything nice to say, can you please leave me alone? I need to finish this for the contest. <laughs> you really don't think this is gonna make you any money, do you? I mean, it might someday. <laughs> you really do live in your fantasy world. You know, if I were you, I'd start practicing taking coffee orders now, since that's all you're gonna end up doing if you stay on this track. Let me see that. Stop taking my stuff. Dumb. Dumb. Even dumber. Give it to me. Why do you keep picking on her? Yeah, just give her her book back, Heather. Stay out of this. Hold up. Is this me? My series needed a villain. Oh. Huh. If that's how it's gonna be, then I might as well embrace the part. No! I needed these for the contest. Serves you right for drawing people without their permission. And besides, anime is a total waste of time. You know, one day, you'll be thanking me for this. <laughs> so good. Let me see that. I'm so sorry, Mia. You didn't deserve that. Yeah, don't, don't let her get to you. <laughs> I needed these for the contest. What is that? <laughs> hey, Mia. Thanks for the views. What are you talking about? Guessing you haven't seen my TikTok. <laughs> no! Sweetheart. How was... Hey, what's going on?
Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Nothing, can we just drive? Not until you tell me what's wrong. Something happened at school? It's not that big of a deal. Is someone picking on you? Is it the Heather girl? I swear. I don't want to talk about it. Can we just go home? We're supposed to go to the thrift shop. Get your career day outfit, remember? Yeah, well, I don't even know if I want to go to school that day anymore. What do you mean? You've been so excited. You're going to dress up as Tanger, uh, Tanger, Tanjiro Demon Slayer all month. I got you this. Huh? Make a palette you want it, you can match it with the wig. Mommy, you don't need to be wasting your money on me like that. It's not a waste. You're so talented. What kind of mom would I be if I didn't support you? Thanks, but if I go, then I'm not gonna wear an anime costume. Okay, so what do you wanna go as? I don't know, something normal so no one makes fun of me? Sweetheart, being different is what makes you special. You can try to fit in with everyone else. Yeah, well, that hasn't worked out so well. You can't let people that don't understand you keep you from following your dreams. Well, that's easy to say when your dreams aren't sitting at the bottom of a garbage can. What does that even mean? Do you remember the sketches that I was doing for the contest? Heather destroyed them at lunch. I knew it was the Heather girl. You know, I'm gonna go talk to the school principal right now. No, that'll just make things worse. Fine. I won't say anything as long as you promise to go to career day and you dress as whatever you like. You can't let a mean girl tell you what you can and cannot do. All right, fine. Can we just drop it and drive? Oh yeah, you got some really cute things. Are you going for more of like a Kyle Richards vibe? You know, I was actually leaning more like Kardashian. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. What do you want, Heather? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to thank you. My TikTok's at over 1 million views. Guess I can add influencer to the list of things I can become. <laughs> I've looked at the comments and people are on my side. If I were you, I'd delete that. I gained 30,000 followers in a day. I think I'll be okay with a little bit of hate. Were you just shopping at the thrift store? And what is this? It's part of my outfit for Friday. What are you going as, a witch? <laughs> no, I'm going as a character for my favorite anime, Demon Slayer. Even worse. Still stuck in your fantasy world, I see. You know, maybe your life wouldn't suck so much if you weren't so weirdly obsessed with anime. My life is just fine. You have no friends, no boyfriend, and you're poor. What's so great about that? Not for long. When my series takes off and I become famous. Aren't you famous? Oh. As <laughs> if. The only five seconds of fame you're ever gonna get is from my TikTok. Oh, and you know what? Tomorrow, maybe I'll give you 10 more seconds by throwing you in the trash with the rest of your drawings. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye, loser. What are you doing? Ow. We leave for school in 10 minutes. So David. I'm not going, I, I don't feel well. I've been crushing it on court, but off court too. How did you go from being on academic probation to getting a 4.0 GP? Mom. Mia, please don't let those girls get to you. But what if they're right? I eat lunch alone every day. We live in a tiny studio apartment we can barely afford, and I think that just drawing some fictional characters is gonna magically change everything. Heather's mean, but she's not crazy. Mia, I know it doesn't feel like it right now, but I promise you, things are gonna work out. Yeah, I don't know anymore. This is your favorite series, right? Does the hero in the story just get what they want right away? No. Tanjiro has to fight demons to avenge his family's death and to turn his sister Nezuko back to human. Exactly. Think of Heather as a demon. Not literally, but you know. My point is, 
every person that's trying to make something great of their lives has to overcome some kind of obstacle. And the obstacles are what make for a great story. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm ready to do it. Why don't you go get that? Okay. Sniper Wolf. Well, technically, I'm Nezuko, but yeah, you must be Mia. Uh, yeah. I, I'm sorry, how do you know my name? Oh my god, I wish I didn't look like this right now. <laughs> You're totally fine. I saw a TikTok video about you, and I felt super bad, so I reached out to your mom. You knew about this? That's why I was trying to get you to go get ready. <laughs> I'm sorry for what you're going through. That Heather girl sounds like some of the girls that I went to school with that made fun of me. You were made fun of. You've got like 30 million subscribers. Now, but I wasn't very popular in high school. I was into anime and the other girls were into boys or shopping. But now some of those same girls want to be my friends. It's funny how life works. So when people were mean to you, it didn't make you want to change? Not at all. Because one thing I know is being different is what makes you cool. You don't have to fit in with everybody else. That's what my mom tells me. We were talking about that before you came. Your mom sent me some of your drawings, and they're really good. Like getting published or produced one day sort of good. Wait, you mean it? You're not just saying that to make me feel better? Nope, it's so good that if you want, I could help get your series off the ground. I've got a few contacts, but for now, I think you better go change, or we're gonna be late. Wait, you're going to school with me? Yep, Tanjiro and Nezuko gotta stick together, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, in conclusion, I want to be a real housewife. Preferably the Beverly Hills cast, but I'm willing to accept New York or the OC too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what an interesting goal, Heather. Yeah, well, we certainly have some colorful ideas between that and Derek's dream job of creating a pyramid scheme. Okay, who's next? Uh, Mia, you wanna come up? This is gonna be cool. <laughs> so, uh, I decided to dress up as my favorite anime character, Tanjiro from Demon Slayer, because I hope to create my own anime series. <laughs> That's code for gonna be broke. <laughs> Heather. Uh, sorry, Mia, keep going. Uh, what steps can someone take to become an anime creator? So, actually- First step, be born a total loser. <laughs> okay, that is it. One more comment and you are getting sent to the principal's office. Sorry, go ahead. So, to become a creator, normally you need a foot in the door, but actually, Heather helped me with that. What are you talking about? No, I didn't because of your video, I was able to meet... Hello, friends. Hi. It's Sniper. Oh my gosh. Uh, hello, what brings you here? I'm here as Mia's friend, but I'm also collabing with her on a special project. A special oh. project? Yeah, I've been working on my own anime series, but I haven't found the right person to collab with until I found Mia. So we're gonna produce a show together and I'll promote it on my channel. Mia, you're making a show with Sniper? <laughs> That's so cool. You're gonna be famous. What are you guys talking about? Anime is for total losers. I think my subscribers would disagree. But thanks for making that TikTok, because that's how I found Mia. <laughs> Principal Matthews, is everything okay? I need to speak with Heather. With me? Why? About a certain TikTok you made that came to my attention? Come with me. <laughs> Chase? Huh? Sorry, I missed the bus this morning, but is it true you brought Sniper Wolf to class today? Yeah, but wait, are you... Zenu Tomaru from Glee? You're into anime? Ever since middle school. But my friends gave me a hard time for it, so I ended up getting into sports. I never would have guessed. 
Well, when I saw that drawing you made of me. Oh, don't remind me. That was so embarrassing. No, not at all. Because of you, I've actually been binging bleach all week. Really? Yeah, of course. And if you're down, maybe we can get together and watch it sometime, if that's something you're into. Yeah, that sounds good. Cool. <laughs> cool. All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, I have an 11 o'clock interview with Jack Feldstein. My name's Heather Langston. Follow me. Wait here, I'll go get him. It's coming together, guys. Yeah, yeah posters one and two, yeah. but I still favor three. All right, we'll, we'll try to get back to you in like a week. Okay, see you then. Mia? Mia Tanaka? Heather? What are you doing here? Uh, uh, low key, I'm interviewing for an admin assistant role here. Super lame, I know. <laughs> Wait, you're interviewing? I thought you had a trust fund. Oh, I uh, sort of spent most of it, so my dad told me I have to go out and get a real job. But it looks like we both might be assistants here. So sorry, Jack got held up at a meeting. Oh, I see you met Mia. Oh, yeah, we go way back. I knew Mia when she was still scribbling those little anime characters in her notebook. Oh, I had no idea. I would have had Mia's assistant find a time for you two to meet directly had I known. Assistant? Of course. Well, technically, two assistants, since, <laughs> you know, she's the CEO. CEO? Wait, but this is your company? Just give us a minute. Yeah, I guess that little anime series worked out after all. <sighs> wow. I had no idea. But honestly, if anyone deserves success, it's you. You always worked really hard, and I never understood or appreciated any of that. Not until I lost all of my money. But um, anyways, congrats on everything. I'm guessing you wouldn't want to hire me. Well, we are scaling up. I could use an extra set of hands. If you're still interested, of course. Really? Yeah, you can start right now. Sorry to interrupt, but your mom called. She is loving the new house you got her and is hoping you'll be home for dinner. And then Sniper Wolf just got here for the meeting. Okay, great. Tell my mom I'll be there at seven and I'm coming right now for the meeting. And your first task can be making us some coffee. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I can do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can help run our social media. I remember you're pretty good at that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, sorry about that, by the way. But that sounds good. Great. HR will get you started. Oh, and Mia? Thank you again. Hey, hey, you. Just thought I'd bring you this. Oh, thanks, honey. Is that? Come say hi to Sniper Wolf. Sniper Wolf, okay. Oh wait, before you go, check these out. <gasps> How cool are those? No way! You're going headphones? I know, right? I know how much you love them. So, you have a nice day, sweetheart. I love you. Thanks, Mom. I love you too! Wow, that was Danny. He looked so cute. He's definitely like the coolest guy in school. I know, and I have this feeling that he's going to ask me out soon. He probably likes me. Hey, watch it. Sorry. What's with all the dumb unicorns? Oh, they're my favorite animal. <laughs> my mom even got me these magic pairs of headphones. Do you like that? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> maybe if I was like five. I don't get it. What's wrong with them? Seriously? First off, unicorns aren't real animals. They're imaginary. Second, only little kids play with them. Yeah, I can't believe you like those. That's so embarrassing. But I really like them. <laughs> well, now we all know why you don't have any friends, loser. <laughs> Hey, don't let them get to you. Yeah, 
Everyone knows you're just bullies. We think your headphones are really cool. Really? You do? Yep. I wish I had some like these. You should totally wear them. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Look, there's three seats next to May. Let's just kick her off the table. Get lost, we wanna sit here. <laughs> hey, loser, I said leave. We need this table. You guys can sit with me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you really think we'd be seen hanging out with you? Get real. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she even has a unicorn lunchbox. <laughs> wow, no way. I can't believe it. Let's go find lunchbox. Do you not get it? <laughs> Only little babies like unicorns. How do you not know that? But I already... I'm not trying to be seen having a conversation with you. Just leave. May, there's an extra chair over here. You can come sit with us. Okay, thanks. Oh, you're taking forever. My lunch! <laughs> <laughs> that was really mean, Michelle. Whatever. If you want to sit with this loser, go ahead. Come on, you can have some of my lunch. Have a seat. Here, you can have some of my lunch too. Thank you. Are you seriously still thinking about wearing those? I don't know. Do you think you're in preschool? People in middle school wear AirPods. See? Not some dumb unicorn headphones. <laughs> I can't believe you like those. Seriously, you should just throw them away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, hon, how is school? Hey! Why are you throwing those away? I don't want to wear these dumb headphones. Don't have middle school wears unicorns. What do babies do? They're so embarrassing. May. May, tell me what happened. Just forget it! May. May, wait. May! The mom goes to get the headphones out of the trash so confused by what's happening. A couple students come up to her and explain everything. She's shocked to hear the story. She goes to console May and give her headphones back, but May wants nothing to do with unicorns anymore. When May and her mom get home, May runs off to her room crying, still so sad from what happened earlier. The mom is so emotional seeing how hurt her daughter is. The mom decides she can't keep quiet, so she sits in front of her camera and decides to make a video about what happened. So my 10-year-old daughter came home from school today really upset. Why? Because kids were making fun of her. Why? Because of her headphones. See, I bought her these, bling and all, because she, she loves unicorns. And she was so excited to wear them. 
but now she feels like she can't because the kids at school are telling her that they're just for babies. My daughter has some mental delays in intellectual disabilities, so she really internalizes things like this. And now I've always taught my daughter to be a decent human being and have kindness and respect for others, but apparently not everybody thinks that way. Uh, so if, um, if your kid has these or anything else with unicorns on it, will you take a picture of them wearing it or a video so I can show her how cool she really is? And for the love of God, please, Please, please teach your kids to have respect and stop bullying. The mom finishes recording her emotional video and decides to post it online. She uploads it onto YouTube not knowing what was going to happen. Before long, the video ends up going viral. It gets over a million views within just a short time. The mom couldn't believe it. She brings May over to see what happened. May watches her mom open up her email that's flooded with videos from kids all over the world. Each kid has something with unicorns on it and tells May just how cool they think she is. May can't believe it. For the first time in a long time, she even smiles. The mom couldn't be happier. And then, the next day at school, May gets a big surprise. Look at the new photo Danny posted on Instagram. Ugh, he's so dreamy. You guys definitely belong together. Check it out. She's still wearing those dumb headphones. Ugh, are you serious? Watch this. Hey, May! You know, the reason why you don't have any friends and why people think you are such a loser is because you hey. lit- We just want to let you know that we loved your unicorn backpack so much. That we got our own. Do you like them? <laughs> I like them. <laughs> wow, you guys are all such losers. May, check it out. We loved your shirt so much that we got matching ones. What do you think? Oh my gosh, they look so cool. I love them. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you guys aren't embarrassed wearing those. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing anything, unicorn. Oh my gosh, it's Danny. You have to go and talk to him. Uh, okay. Hey, Danny. I was actually just about to DM you to see if, you know, you wanted to go out sometime. Thanks. Actually, would you mind giving me a sec? May, right? Uh, yes, hi. Um, uh, we heard about your unicorn headphones, and I just wanted to say I think they're really cool. Really? You do? Yeah. So cool that we actually went out and got a pair. You know, um, well, so we could match you. Hey, sorry to butt in, but you can't be serious. Unicorns, come on. Only little babies like those. That's not true. We really like them. <laughs> By the way, May, if you ever wanted to hang out sometime, just let us know. Okay, I will. Cool. Hey, are those AirPods? Yeah, why? <laughs> wow, no one wears those anymore. <laughs> yeah, we only wear unicorn headphones now. <laughs> These are perfect. Like so <laughs> and they match yours. <laughs> we all have to follow you. I know, we all have to say Whatever! <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you. You all look so cute. Thank you. Hey, you uh, wanna come over and play Fortnite after school? <laughs> I wish.
My mom's making me meet some foreign exchange student who's gonna be staying with us. That's lame. Yeah, tell me about it. And he's staying in my brother's room. You know, Jacob hasn't even been gone a month and my mom is already giving his room to someone else. What? Yeah. What is that smell? Uh, where, where is that coming from? That, I, I think it's that kid's lunch. Never seen him before. Dude, why does your Chinese food smell like that? Uh, um, actually, it, it Vietnamese food and you probably smell either. Fish sauce. Fish sauce? I've never even heard of that. Where I am from, where you listen to what? Here it didn't. That's disgusting. Maybe you should go back to where you're from because in America, we eat normal food like this. It's called a sandwich. Ever heard of it? Yeah. Well, then maybe you should go grab one and throw that crap out. Because I don't want your fish sauce stinking up this cafeteria. You got it, fish boy? Fish boy. <laughs> yeah, actually, this, this is really good if you guys want to try this yourself. I'd rather die, honestly. Come on, let's go sit somewhere far away from him. I don't want to feel like I'm eating in a freaking aquarium. Are you sure you just can't convince her to let you come over? No, trust me, man. If I could, I would. Uh, dude? What's your mom doing talking to that weird new kid? Jeez, I don't know, dude. She's probably giving him directions or something. I'm gonna go tell him to get lost. Later. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, honey. How was school today? Get your directions somewhere else. We're busy. Kyle? Thea's not asking for directions. He's the foreign exchange student I was telling you about. He came all the way from Vietnam. Wait, hold on, you're joking, right? This guy's staying in Jacob's room? No, no, he smells. Hey, that is not how we speak to our guests. You know what, this completely sucks. I hate this. I am so sorry. He's not normally like this. Is that how people like in America? Oh no, gosh no, that, that is not normal behavior. He's just, he's going through a tough time because his brother left for the military and they were best friends. I promise he'll warm up to you, okay? All right, let's get in the car. Thanks. What the? What is that? Oh, Theon taught me how to make one of his favorite dishes. I just, I wanted him to feel more at home. Taste test? What, no, that's disgusting. Are you trying to poison me? <sighs> Kyle, stop being so dramatic. Mmm, oh, this is delicious. You like it? Uh-huh. I'm glad you like it. Oh God, there's so many more dishes I want to show you. No, no, I don't think so. You're not gonna be staying here for much longer. He is gonna be staying here the entire year. So get used to it and be nice. Playing a game? Playing a game? Yeah. Never seen that before. What's it called? Um, it's a new game. It's called um, World Farm Ad Work Farm Adventure. Word Farm Adventure? When you do plant words? No, it's like a fun personal word game. Plus, we're gonna get to build farm, race animal, and a lot more stuff. I can't believe you'd actually spend money on that. No, I'm not spending money on this. It's free. Um, yeah, I learned a lot of English from this. So basically you're studying before school? Yes. Wow, just when I couldn't think you'd be more lame. What a geek. Hey, no name calling. Besides, you could learn a thing or two from Theon. I bet he gets good grades. Oh, well, I'm sure he does. Cause he spends all his free time studying and reading books and playing word games. Yeah, no thanks. I'd much rather enjoy myself. <laughs> well, at the rate you're going, you'll be enjoying summer school, too. No, Jacob's gonna be here, so I'll be hanging out with him. 
Well, if you don't get your grades up, you won't have a choice. Hey, where are you going? You haven't had breakfast yet. I'm walking to school, and I'm not eating that crap. No, I am driving the both of you. Mom, I will not be seen getting out of the same car as some foreign exchange student, and I definitely won't be smelling like fish sauce at school. Goodbye. Kyle! I am so sorry. I have no idea what's gotten into him. It's okay. It's not your fault. Is that ready for me to get a taste? Oh, yes. Come on, of course. Kyle. Ian, you got the highest score in the class. Great job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Give me a break. All right, class, on to the next lesson. Who can give me the three basic trigonometric functions? Go ahead, Thean. Um, it's psi, cosi, and tangent. That is absolutely correct. Nice job. <clears throat> Nerd. <clears throat> what was that, Kyle? Nothing. Saved by the bell. See you guys tomorrow. Do not forget to read chapter 11. Oh, dude. Trees just not my bag. It's not my either. It's tough. Hey, watch this. Ooh, teacher's pet got a perfect score. Give it back. You know, I was right about you. You are a total nerd. I'm serious. Oh, you're serious. What are you gonna do if I do this? Curry. <laughs> What's your problem, man? What's your problem, man? Listen to the way this guy speaks English. You need to stop this. Oh yeah? Well, what are you gonna do about it, huh? You know my brother? He taught me a few things before he was deployed. Kyle! In my classroom, now. It's just fun. I don't wanna hear it. Classroom, now. I am so sorry about that. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just wait until Kyle's mom finds out about this. Disappointed doesn't even begin to describe how I feel, Kyle. Sorry. You have been treating poor Thean so awful since he got here, and now I hear you're bullying him at school too? That is completely unacceptable. I figured I'd let you know before I told the principal. I've never seen Kyle act this way before. I was quite shocked. Yeah, I don't believe it either. He's just, he's been acting so differently since Jacob moved out of the house. I said I was sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it. You haven't even given him a chance since he moved in. Well, I just don't understand why a foreign exchange student has to live with us in the first place. And it's not my fault he's a weirdo. That is enough. Do you hear me? Just because someone is from another country does not make him weird. You should never judge someone before you get to know them. I don't want to get to know him. Fine. Then you are grounded for three months. How does that sound? Whatever. Okay. I will also be taking your tablet and your video game, so no more Fortnite. Wait, no, no, you can't do that. Yes, I can. It's either that or you be nice to Thean. I'm sure he has a lot he could teach you. So what's it going to be? Fine. I 
I will make sure this never happens again. And if you need to discipline him more, I completely understand. It's okay. I think Kyle's gonna learn his lesson. And it's my hope that as they get to know one another, perhaps Theon can help Kyle with his grades too. Theon got the highest score on our exam, you know. Really? Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Come on, boys. Let's go home. Kyle reluctantly agrees to give Theon a chance. The next day, when Kyle sees Theon eating some traditional Vietnamese food, he's grossed out at first. But remembering his promise to his mom, he decides to give it a chance. To his surprise, he ends up loving it. Back at school, when Kyle looks for a table to sit at, this time he decides to join Theon. Not only does Kyle share his lunch with him, but he also pulls out his book and starts studying. Once Kyle starts giving Theon a chance, he realizes Theon's actually pretty cool. Kyle starts to like having Theon around and they have a lot of fun together. And then a few days later, Kyle gets a big surprise. Hey, you wanna come over to my house later? I got the new Halo. Yeah, I'm down. Actually, is it cool if I bring Theon? You gotta be kidding me. Fish boy, come on, man. He's actually pretty cool. What are you, are you, did you bump your head? He's a total dork. It's not true at all. And for the record, you should never judge someone before you get to know them. Yeah, I, I guess so. I guess it's cool. Just text me when you wanna come over. All right, man, see ya. Hey, what's the big smile for? Well, your teacher came by and she gave me your test results. I can't believe you got an A. Thanks, but technically it's an A minus. I promise I'll do better on the next one though. Well, I have to say I am loving this new Kyle and I have a surprise for you. What? <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> Jacob, what's up? Man, you're getting bigger, broski. This is crazy, how long are you in town? Just a couple of days, I wanted to surprise you. That's awesome. Oh, have you met Theon? Yeah, we met earlier. He's, he's my friend. Sorry for taking your room. Don't sweat it, I'll just take Kyle's. Yeah, right. You can wrestle for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change. Hey, do you guys wanna go get something to eat? Yeah, we should get Vietnamese food. You ever had it? No, it's good. Dude, it's so good. They have this stuff called fish sauce. It is to die for. Sounds good, let's go. Let's get it, bro. 